Hi guys. As you can see here I select a problem standard problem from synchronous generator here problem one a synchronous generator has a direct axis synchronous reactance XT of 0. 8 per unit and a quadrature axis reactance synchronous reactance XQ of 0 0.5 per unit the per unit open circuit voltage for full load at a leg lagging power factor 0 0.8 is dash and also calculate full load voltage regulation that is the main question so they have given some data which are direct axis reactance quadrature axis reactance and they are asking if machine supplying or synchronous generator supplying the load full load that is very important full load at 0 0.8 lagging power factor then what will be the no load voltage or you can say the induced EMF in power unit and they are asking about the full load voltage regulation if we can calculate the value of E which is induced EMF then we can easily calculate the voltage regulation is it fine so in the previous lecture we have derived some formula by using these formulas we can solve this problem so let's solve so first of all we need to calculate the value of load angle which is delta so for the mess when machine delivering the lagging reactive power uh, lagging power factor load then what is the formula of load angle let's see tan del is ia xq cos phi by v plus ia xq sin phi and one thing here here is no they have not given any information about resistance armature resistance so by default we have to take the resistance as negligible or re armature resistance is equal to zero so we know in power unit system we take the terminal voltage as or vt this is terminal voltage vt as one per unit at an angle zero degree and machine is supplying full load so IA also will be one per unit at an angle 0 0.8 lagging power factor so at an angle minus 36.86 degree is it fine so tan del will be ia which is 1 into xq they have given the value of xq is 0 0.5 so 
सो जीरो पॉइंट फाइव एंड कॉस फाइव द वैल्यू ऑफ कॉस फाइव इज जीरो पॉइंट एट बिकॉज ऑल्टरनेटर इज सप्लाइंग द फुल लोड एट जीरो पावर फैक्टर लैगिंग देन वी टी इज वन प्लस आई ए एक्स क्यू सेम सो आई ए इज वन इंटू जीरो पॉइंट फाइव सो साइन फाइव इज वेन कॉस फाइव इज जीरो पॉइंट एट साइन फाइव इज जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स इफ यू सॉल्व इट देन यू विल गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ डेल्टा इज सेवेंटीन पॉइंट वन डिग्री सो नेक्स्ट इज वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द इंटरनल पावर फैक्टर एंगल और द वैल्यू ऑफ साई द वैल्यू ऑफ साई सो बिफोर दैट वी हैव टू नो वन थिंग सी जस्ट हाउ टू सॉल्व इजीली सो लेट्स सी आई एम टेकिंग दैट वी इज रेफरेंस एंड इन केस ऑफ ऑल्टरनेटर ई इज ऑलवेज लीड्स द वोल्टेज सो ई विल बी लाइक दैट this is del and i is lagging so that is phi and this is i is it okay so from here we can calculate the value of psi which is angle between e and i here this is psi so psi will be like that del plus phi which is psi is is equal to psi the value of psi will be 17.1 plus phi is 36.86 which comes out to be 53.96 degree so from here we know the value of id is ia sin psi which will be sin psi the i a is 1 and 1 into sin of the value of psi is i just calculate calculated it 53.96 if you calculate it the value will be the value of id will be 0.808 per unit every value is in per unit so is it okay so next we have to calculate the value of idxd because we know when alternator supplying lagging load e is induced emf or open circuit voltage is v cos del plus i dx t and that is the reason why i am calculating the value of i d and delta that is the only reason because we know the value of e for lagging load of alternator 
the value of e is v cos del plus i dx d so let's solve e is v is 1 on vt 1 into cos of 17.1 plus id the value of id is 0 0.808 into xt the value of xt yes the value of xt is 0 0.8 so this is 0 0.8 So, what will be the value of E? If you calculate it, then you will get the answer 1.602 volt. Is it fine? So, this is the first answer of this question. Let's see the next question. What is also calculate the full load voltage regulation? So, full load voltage regulation, it means the full load, full load voltage regulation will be just no load voltage. minus full load voltage by full load voltage because our reference is full load full load voltage they are asking about the full load voltage regulation that's why we we are taking the reference voltage is full load if they ask about no load voltage regulation then we have to take the reference voltage as no load voltage okay so here they are asking about full load voltage so that's why i take here the full load voltage as reference so let's see what is the answer so 1.6 we have to minus full load voltage is terminal voltage minus 1 by full load voltage which is 1 so if you calculate it then you will get that 60.2 percent full load voltage regulation percentage of full load voltage is it okay If you can understand the problem or the solution of problem, please like and share with your friends so that they can be benefited and thank you.